Yo, what's up squaws? Welcome back to Regal Randy's Ranch. Today we're going to talk about defoliation and some advanced techniques to get the most out of your crop. I'm also going to show you how training and defoliating my cannabis plants boosted my yields by 50%. If you've watched my previous videos, you might recognize these plants. These are the two massive evil grims and the citral glue. They're in a 2x8 grown under the Spider Farmer G4500, a 450 watt LED light. We're getting these plants ready for flower, so they'll be undergoing the last bit of training before we flip them. They were a bit thirsty, so I watered them and waited for the leaves to bounce back. Once they looked vigorous and lively, I jumped right in to finish prepping them for flower. The training techniques I've used on these plants are topping, low stress training, super cropping, scrogging, and defoliation. Defoliation is a technique used by cannabis growers to remove leaves from a plant. It involves selectively pruning leaves to improve light penetration, airflow, and ultimately increase the yield. It's a common practice in the cannabis industry, and if done correctly, it can improve the quality of your buds. Before we dive into advanced techniques, let's talk about why you should defoliate in the first place. Defoliation improves the plant's overall health by allowing more light to reach the lower branches, which would otherwise be shaded by the upper leaves. It also allows for better air circulation and reduces the risk of mold and pests. Defoliation is an effective way to manage the growth of your plant. By removing the fan leaves that are blocking light to the lower branches, you can force the plant to focus on growing those lower branches instead. This can increase the yield and improve the quality of your buds. Defoliation should be done during the vegetative stage and early flowering stage. You don't want to remove too many leaves during the late flowering stage as it can slow down the growth of your buds. The best time to defoliate is when your plants are healthy, well watered and have good nutrient uptake. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to some advanced defoliation techniques that can take your crop to the next level. Selective defoliation is a technique that involves removing specific leaves to achieve a particular goal. For example, you can remove leaves that are blocking light to the lower branches to promote their growth or you can remove leaves that are shading the buds to improve their size and density. Selective defoliation can also be used to create airflow channels. By removing leaves in certain areas of the plant, you can create channels for air to flow through, reducing the risk of mold and pests. Defoliation in stages involves removing leaves at different times during the growth cycle. This technique involves removing the lower leaves first during the vegetative stage, then removing more leaves as the plant grows taller. By removing the lower leaves during the vegetative stage, you can encourage the plant to focus on growing the upper branches. As the plants grow taller, you can remove more leaves to improve light penetration and promote the growth of the buds. Layered defoliation is a technique where you remove the larger leaves first and the smaller leaves later. This allows the plant to recover from the initial stress before removing more leaves. Reverse defoliation is a technique where you remove the lower leaves first and then work your way up the plant. This can help air flow to the lower parts of the plant and improve the overall health of the plant. Lollipopping is a technique where you remove all of the lower branches and leaves from your plant during the vegetative stage. This can help increase air flow and light penetration to the upper parts of the plant, resulting in larger and more potent buds. By removing the lower foliage, all the energy that would be wasted on larfy popcorn nugs is directed to the main colas at the top of the plant. Schwazing Schwazing is a technique where you remove almost all of the leaves from your plant during the flowering stage. This can result in significantly higher yields, but it is important to note that it can also be very stressful for your plants, so it's not recommended for beginners. Topping is a technique that involves cutting off the tops of the plant to encourage the growth of multiple colas. By combining topping with defoliation, you can create a bushy plant with multiple colas that are all exposed to direct light. To do this, you would top the plant during the vegetative stage and then defoliate the lower leaves to promote the growth of new colas. As the plant grows taller, you can remove more leaves to improve light penetration and airflow. Scrogging is a cultivation technique that uses a net or screen to act as a physical barrier to restrict vertical growth of the plant. The stem and branches are weaved through the net and forced to grow horizontally instead of vertically.
During the flowering phase, all the blooms originate from the same height, allowing the grower to keep each and every top in the sweet spot for maximum light levels. By making use of all the space in a grow area, you can get seriously heavy harvests from your grow room, often with fewer plants by using this technique. The Even Canopy maximizes your light efficacy by utilizing all the light coverage your LED has to offer. This is important when growing indoors as space is usually limited and resources such as electricity and nutrients can be costly. It's important to note that these advanced defoliation techniques should only be used by experienced growers as they can be stressful on the plant and can potentially reduce yield if done incorrectly. In addition to these advanced techniques, there are a few tips that can help you get the most out of your defoliation. First, make sure to use sharp and clean scissors when defoliating. This helps to reduce the risk of infection and damage to the plant. Second, make sure to defoliate slowly and in stages. This allows the plant to recover from the initial stress before removing more leaves. You never want to remove more than 20 to 30% of the leaves at one time. Remember to only defoliate during the vegetative and early flowering stages and to be gentle when removing leaves. Third, make sure your plant is healthy, well watered and has good nutrient uptake before defoliating. Finally, make sure to monitor the plant closely after defoliation. This can help you identify any issues and make adjustments as needed. Additionally, what works for one strain may not work for another, so it's important to find what techniques work the best with the strains you're growing. In conclusion, defoliation is a great way to improve the yield and quality of their cannabis plants. With these advanced techniques and tips, you can take your defoliation game to the next level. If done correctly, defoliation can improve the quality and quantity of your buds, leading to a more robust and higher yielding crop. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to check out the clone to harvest on these plants and remember to join the giveaway. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cannabis related content. Peace out squaws.